Welcome to the new apartment. Let me show you around my room. What's going on everyone? Welcome to the video. Saturday, May 18th and I'm moving out. Today is the day I moved from this room to another apartment across campus for the summer and all of my stuff is gone. Except for the fridge and the microwave. Still got like a few things left in there that I still, I'm gonna put it in a, cause that's, it's defrosting. But the rest of my stuff is all in here. Luckily my parents are swinging over to help me move all of that. They'll be here in about half an hour, but we're done here. Been a good year in this room. It was nice, you know, not having to have a roommate and having all this stuff to myself, my own bathroom. This is the last that you'll see of this room. Next clip will be after I get everything moved over to the new place. Welcome to the new apartment. Let me show you around my room. So we've got the door back here. I'll stand in the doorway and have a look around at the space. Start with the desk right here. Got a nice size desk, nice chair here. Got a garbage can inside of a garbage can. Protein powder on the desk there. And then we got this shelf full of like my food and other stuff. Got the microwave right here. Got the little fridge out here. We've got a full kitchen. I'll show you that all later. My nice sitting chair here, looking out this window, we have a view of the athletic field. Got my bed situated over here. Got like shoes and stuff under the bed. Out this window, we have a view of other grass trees. Over here, got my dresser, got all my clothes and stuff in there. Got clothes hanging up here, up on top. My mother so nicely folded these sweatshirts and then I grabbed one and it's just, yeah. Not much on the walls other than my man JC just chilling there, but this is my room. I like it a lot. The natural lighting is very good. Now I will take you out into the main area here. This is what it looks like outside of my room. Take you to the to the bathroom first. So here we are. A much larger mirror. See the, the lighting? <laughs> yeah, lighting's good. So kind of separate mirror space here. And then this is the the shower. We have a much larger shower than my other one. Much better water pressure as well. And a toilet. Nice toilet. Back out into the main area, so we've got some nice natural lighting. Once again, looking out towards the field, this couch, this very large circular ottoman thing, and then here is the kitchen, full kitchen. I'm now able to cook food, but we've got the sink, we've got the countertop, we've got a stove top, an oven, another microwave in here, all kinds of storage. We've got the fridge. I got some food in there. I got some beef. I got some eggs. And that is pretty much it. Me and three other dudes. So that is one room, two room, my room, four room. Very nice. Very nice living arrangements. Much nicer than my old room. And nothing against my old room. It was fantastic, but I am pumped to be able to live here, have once again kind of my own space, but also be able to have the kitchen and continue to make sick content in this space as well. Also living with these other dudes. Maybe you'll see them in the video from the time to time. See, this is the first breakfast in a new place because I made myself breakfast yesterday. But one of the first breakfasts in the new apartment. I love being able to make myself eggs and oatmeal again in the morning. 6.30 a.m., so I'm trying to keep it on the low, but uh, six eggs, took out two of the yolks, a cup of oatmeal, standard breakfast moving forward. <laughs> So, training, what I'm doing for the next at least four weeks is I'm gonna be doing strictly 
hypertrophy volume based training because in the past I think what I've been doing and I've started to realize it more now is I, I may be verging on like trying to both do high intensity and high volume training which may be like verging on over training which I genuinely am not like big on and I think it might just be whatever but I think I haven't been paying attention to how my body uh, recovers and responds to training and that I might not be recovering as effectively as I can I might not be making as good of progress as I could be if I could if I was just doing high volume or high intensity so I'm stick to high volume for four weeks and I'm gonna test it out and then after that four weeks I'll probably go to high intensity and see which one I get better results with but for this period strictly like bodybuilding hypertrophy high volume training so we're not going like crazy on weights or anything not going like crazy intense sets really put mostly straight sets with a lot of volume with like relatively heavy weight but stuff I can control stuff I can get quality reps with quality muscle contractions do it along with me see if you get better results doing the kind of uh, volume style training that I'm gonna do but that's that's the scoop working on a little food prep for the week here so I've got I'll show you my giant pan of ground beef that I'm working with and I've got a whole bunch of chicken breasts in this crock pot it's been cooking up for a little bit so that is all uh, my protein pretty much for the week and then I've got eggs that I'll have for breakfast and stuff I've also got to cook up I got all these sweet potatoes that I'm not quite sure yet how I'm gonna make I have to at least make some of those to have a little beef and sweet potato meal in a little bit but this is so much more convenient just to cook up all the protein and most of the carbs I'll have. I got myself a rice cooker as well. Right down and here, I'm just dropping things. So I'll probably like, I'll probably just make like daily rice. Uh, at least I have like kind of fresh rice instead of re-microwaved rice from like multiple days ago. But going into this, I was thinking like, oh, I can just make myself fresh food on the stovetop every single day. It'll be great. Pre-cooking all of my food is so much more convenient. So I want to wrap this vlog up, just chatting a little bit. I've been up for a while. Um, I had a 4.45 a.m. shift, my first shift at a gym downtown that I'll be working at this summer as part of my income. But um, I want to be real to end off this vlog and say that, you know, um, the, it, it's a nice place here and I've talked about it being such a wonderful idea staying here for the summer and I was super pumped about it and um, now it's here and I will say that for the first few days here it hasn't been all fine and dandy. I've honestly kind of had a rough time the first day or two here. Um, just a lot going through my mind. I guess I'm kind of getting up in my head a little bit about like is it worth it? Like practicality paying a lot of money to stay here versus being home like I'm going way out of my comfort zone and you know being here now sharing the space with the other guys like I had my own room my own bathroom for the entire year this past year so that's different and I don't want to just like vent to end off this video like I'm, I'm having a, a rough go in the first couple days here but it's definitely a uh, more difficult than I expected to be. And I guess I have really been up in my head and I've been a little bit down uh, yesterday and you know beginning of today starting a new job starting you know getting comfortable in this living arrangement. This stuff's new and you know new stuff it can be scary and it can be uncomfortable and it can be whatever. And I have to sit here and question myself like is it worth it? Is it you know is Am I doing the right thing and and how uncomfortable is this gonna be? But yesterday, I placed an order to begin something and you know, yeah, I would it was a bit like just go out and do it, like just press the button. But beginning something that I've wanted to do for a bit now. And after a really good workout today, coming to this realization that I'm here for a reason, I put myself in this position to chase after my goals. And I can't just sit here and dwell on the first day or two and how it's a little uncomfortable, how it's new, how I'm in this new environment that I have to get used to. I can't think so short term and be bottled up in the short term because I have a big goal that you all are going to find out about because something's in the works. Something I, I'm working on that I am so excited to 
start testing for and start building. And if nothing else, if it stays uncomfortable, if it stays new, if it stays, you know, anxious and, and troubling, there's a long term. There's a goal. There's something to strive for. It fires me up. And it gives me something to push for, something to build that I can come back to every single day, just waking up in the morning instead of thinking about whatever else is going on. Like if something's troubling you, forget that and think about your goals. Because your why, the thing that you're working towards, the thing you're working for, has to be bigger than any of those struggles, bigger than any of that discomfort, that newness, that anxiety. And that's what I've got going for me right now. And I'm so excited to present that to you all as we move forward. And um, so, yeah, random weird ramble to end the video. Um, I'll wrap it up here. Hopefully you get used to this living situation. Hopefully things become more comfortable and um, I get into a little bit of routine. I think I just need to get some momentum here. Because once we're there, once I have this thing to work for, we're off. Stay tuned. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit the thumbs up button, leave a comment down below, and subscribe to the channel if you're not already. That's it for this video wrapping up right here. Got another new one coming in a few days. As always, we're gonna keep pushing these videos over the summer. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.